Aita for telling my daughter-in-law and son that it is too late and I will not change the family vacation plans so they can come. Every year I try to do a family vacation. Around Easter I asked everyone for their availability. The best days for almost everyone was a winter vacation. My DIL and so told me that day wouldn't work for her so they can't go. I asked if the backup days would work and it was a no. Usually the vacation is something that everyone can drive to. It was going to be the same until all the adults agreed the kids were old enough to leave the country. So now the trip is to Europe. Everyone has bought their tickets, and I have booked where we are staying. Everything is getting finalized. My son and D.I.L. were not in the family vacation chat since they weren't going on the vacation. They heard about the plans and want to be added in. She called me up asking about it and what they need to do. I asked her how she could get off work and she explained she just could. I personally think she didn't want to go on the trip until she learned it was to Europe and lied to me that she couldn't come in the first place. I told her it is too late. Things are booked and I am not willing to pay more than I already have. I paid for all the lodging. We would need to upgrade to fit two more adults. She asked if I was serious and that it is cruel to not include them on a family trip around Christmas. I told her it is what it is and it's not my fault. My son is pissed. He told me that I can afford to add two more adult, that is true. I reiterated what I told his wife. He called me a jerk. I want an outside opinion. NTA. First of all, you planned everything already. And if your DIL really changed everything just because the trip was to somewhere she wanted to go, doesn't sound good. Second, why can't they pay the extra if they want to come? Aren't they adults already? I know they will not be able to afford it if they have to buy their own logging and everything I could give them that option but I think it will throw gas on the flame. Sounds like they think they're entitled to it, but only if it suits them. They're the worst, not necessarily. It's entirely possible that DIL's boss would be more amenable to giving her the time off of a chance at a European trip than a trip to a cabin in the woods. Back when I was in grad school, I had the opportunity for an almost free trip to Italy. I asked my boss about getting Ten's day off and he said absolutely not. We were already short-handed. Two days later, he found out the trip was to Italy and called me into the office and said, Go, I'll figure it out, dot. My co-worker won a trip to a festival out west the week I'm supposed to give birth. There's no way my boss would have allowed vacation time for anything except emergencies. But this is a good, reliable worker who is already rearranging her schedule to cover me while I'm gone so the whole team and my boss were 100% fine with her going. We didn't want her to miss out on a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Anything else would have been highly unlikely, Dot. That is not the norm in today's workplace with employers. And a European vacation is not a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity anymore because they are literally cheaper than a Caribbean all-inclusive today, Dot. And a European vacation is not a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity anymore because they are literally cheaper than a Caribbean all-inclusive today. Tell me, you're not familiar with being poor without telling me you're not familiar with being poor dot or even working class or middle class. It cost my partner and me around $6,000 for two weeks in Scotland, and that was doing everything on a shoestring. Most people can't afford to just toss around thousands on a whim dot heck comma. I just want to go to Disney World for my 40th birthday and I'm not sure I can afford it. And it's just a day's drive for me. A vacation to Europe? Never gonna happen. Dot it quote, S absolutely a once in a lifetime opportunity for some. Heck, it's a zero in a lifetime for me at this point. I wouldn't be able to afford it unless someone paid for lodging. And even then it would be a stretch to cover tickets and food. Dot seriously. It isn't an opportunity for me unless I get kidnapped dragged to Europe, then dropped off on some street corner. Oh, definitely. I think most employers wouldn't care enough about their employees like that to be willing to make the sacrifice. But being able to afford something like that definitely depends on the person. Nobody I work with has the funds to go on either a Caribbean vacation or a trip across the world to Europe. Half are single moms working two jobs just to make ends meet. That's certainly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all but maybe one of us.